reports, they say there are 27 distinct tasks that radiologists do. Uh, one of them is interpreting images using computer-aided detection and diagnosis systems. So Jeff Hinton zoomed in on that one and said, hey, that's something machines are getting really good at doing. And he's probably right, or he is right. It's, it's been published in Science and Nature that you can do a head-to-head -head comparison and, and uh, the machines are getting quite good at that. Um, not perfect, and there are actually a machine and human together can usually outperform the, the machine by itself. But there are other things like uh, maintaining conscious sedation. Uh, during, you know, I'm not sure you'd want a machine to come in and do that to people or consulting with the other doctors or uh, t talking to the patient with a diagnosis. These are all things that machines are probably not what you want to have doing. And if you look at the 27 distinct tasks, yes, there are some that machines can do quite well and are improving rapidly, but there are others where humans still have a comparative advantage. As a result, I do not see mass unemployment for radiologists or any other profession anytime soon. I do see significant rearrangement, restructuring, reorganization. Managers, entrepreneurs, radiologists need to think about what roles they, they do, what roles the, humans, the, human, the machines do, and combine them in ways to hopefully create more value and have the machine and the human work together to be better off. But when we looked at all of the 950 occupations, we didn't find a single one where machine learning or any combination of technologies just ran the table, at least with the current wave of technologies. In each one, there were things where humans had a comparative advantage, and I think that's typical of, of what we're going to see for at least the next few years.